I want to urge all of us to learn the lessons, the many lessons that General Ogola leaves behind. When General came to brief me about where he was going to go, and eventually he told me this Sunday in Siaya at the Anglican church that they had built as a family, the bishop of ACK, the archbishop, would be there to consecrate the church. It now looks like the consecration of the church will be there, but the ceremony will be about the sending of of our brother, General Francis Ogola. When I met the family, and I asked the family, and the family told me about what General Ogola had wished, including being parted within 72 hours and many of the other things, I asked Mama and Joel, what was the nature of the conversation that led to General talking about his own death, surely? It marks the courage of a man who was ready. And he knew, even in the sermon he preached to us today, that life was mortal. For those of us who are scared of death, maybe General Ogola again is giving us some lessons on how to be ready. Very profoundly, yesterday, many heads of state called to condole with the country. And one profound statement came from the president of Burundi and he told me in Kiswahili, Mashimiwa Rais Sisi Wote tuko katika mstari. General inaonekana alikuwa mbele yetu. Na sisi tujipange. It was very profound coming from a head of state. 